Welcome to Dr. Pete's office. I'm really glad you're here. I hope that you are too. Welcome to Dr. Pete's office. It's a friendly place with so much to do. Right from the minute that you come in, I'll give you lots of reasons to put on a grin. Part of my prescription is singing a song and a healthy dose of fun. So come on along and welcome to Dr. Pete's office. Come in and tell me how you're feeling today. Welcome to Dr. Pete's office. I'll do my best to keep you feeling A-OK. Welcome back, you all. How are you? Good. Hey, it's so good to see you. Thank you for visiting me again at Dr. Pete's office. And thank you to those who are watching at home on Cablevision and to those who are tuning into the YouTube, the UBTube. So how are you feeling good? Yes. Are you feeling happy? Yes. Wonderful. Are you feeling healthy? Yes. Oh, that's great. Do you remember on our last show, we talked about being happy and healthy and all the ways to do that? You remember? Yes. You're doing it, aren't you? You're staying happy and you're staying healthy. One more time. Yes! Oh, that is just wonderful. Well, today, I thought I would just let everybody know how old you all are. Is anybody, is anybody three? Is anybody four? And who is five? Is anybody six? Who is age seven? Who is eight? Is anybody nine? And who's 10? Who's older than 10? You. <laughs> I'm way older than 10. Thank you very much. And remember, last show we talked about my job just a little bit. Do you remember what my job is? What do I do every day that I really love? Maggie. You help kids um, get better when they're, when they're sick. Thank you. I do. And what does that mean? What, what, am, I, what am I? I'm a... Doctor. I'm a doctor. But what kind of doctor am I? Pediatrician. Wait a minute. All five syllables? You said that just correctly. A pediatrician. So a pediatrician takes care of children just like you, right? That is my job. Now, if we have jobs, don't we have to have some tools? Yes. Well, do you have a job as a student at school? Yes. Your job is to learn and become smarter than all of us, right? Yes. So what are your tools? Pencils? Paper? What else? Scissors. Scissors. Careful. What else? Rulers. What else? Rulers. Books. Books. Balance. Balance. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. So all kinds of tools that you have for your job. But I have tools too. But wait, if I'm a carpenter, I have saws and measuring tapes, right? If I'm a computer person, I have computers. Of course, you all have computers for school. At any rate, I have tools too. Do you know what they're called? Instruments. But they're medical instruments. Do you know what I call them? Magical medical instruments. So that's the name of this show. It's mag Magical Medical Instruments. Tell me this. I know you're used to seeing these, but would you like to see them again? Yes. Should you think we should, you should even use them, maybe demonstrate how they're used? Yes. Well, remember this. The tools that I use as a pediatrician, they don't hurt you. They what? Help you. They help you. Thank you so much, Jaden. So they help you, and they help me to know what's going on with your bodies and to make sure that you are absolutely staying happy and healthy, right? So I think, you know, this is Gertrude. Hi, Gertrude. Gertrude, the nurse. You know, I love music. In fact, you know, I've got some pillows that have notes on them, and I think music is life. Do you like music? Yeah. Who likes to sing? Me. Who likes to play music? Good girl, Lauren likes it. So I love music and I love singing and I'm thinking maybe we should have music to introduce my instruments. Do you agree? Yes. Do you want me to find some? Yes. Do you think I could find some music somewhere? Yes. Where do you think I should look? In the box. In the box. In the magic box? Yes. The magic prop box? Yes. Should I just take Gertrude off? Okay, Gertrude. You're going to be okay? <laughs> Are you going to pay attention? Do you love me the, best, the most? <laughs> You're kidding me. 
You don't? Well, who do you love the most? The kids? <laughs> okay, I can handle that. So let's look in the magic box. You ready? <gasps> you are so right. There is music in the magic <gasps> Do you think it might play if I hit this button? Yes. Yeah. And then we could show the instruments. Do you know, Maestro Gary Fry made this music. Let's see if it's here. <gasps> it is. Let's go see the instruments, the wonderful medical instruments. Let's go see the instruments to see what they can do. Yes, let's see the instruments, the magical medical instruments. Let's go see the instruments to see how they help you. Here we have the otoscope to look inside your ear. It helps us see your eardrum, can anybody hear? It's like a special flashlight, hey, this canal is clean. I don't see an infection, yay, and your infection's me. Now we know where the soap can look inside your ear. Let's find another instrument, I have one right here. This is an ophthalmoscope to look inside your eyes. If I see you and you see me, can we see us besides? We look on in and give a spin as fast as focus, focus. Find the right diopter and voila, we all can focus. Now we know the ophthalmoscope can look inside your eyes. Let's find another instrument and try it on for size. Here's a simple pen light to brighten up the mouth. It lets us see all kinds of teeth, east, west, north, and south. A pen light lights up everything, including tongues with coats. Is it hurting you to swallow? We can even see sore throats. Now we know the pen light gives extra light to see. Let's find another instrument, now what could this one be? Now we found the instrument with just the longest name. It's the sphygmomanometer, and pressure is the game. It hugs us up around the arm, it's fun right from the start. It's really a barometer that tells about your heart. And speaking of the heart, you know the stethoscope's the one. Especially when we warm it up, it's just tremendous fun. We listen to your breathing when we listen to your chest. And then we hear the heartbeat that takes care of all the rest. Remember the name of this one? The long name? Spignomenometer! But this one's easy. Stethoscope! Right! Now we've seen some instruments, some wonderful medical instruments. Now you know some instruments, you see what they can do. Yes, we've seen some instruments, some magical medical instruments. Now we know some instruments, they really do help you. What do you think? Do you know? What do you think? Did you like that song? Yes. Thank you, Maestro Gary. But you know what? Here's what I'm going to do, just for fun. For later on, I'm going to do this, and this, and this, and make a quick change. That's for later. So what is your favorite instrument? What's your favorite instrument? Otoscope. What? The otoscope? It is. Dylan, what's your favorite instrument? Which one? The eye thing. It is the eye, I think the ophthalmoscope. That's great. And I'm going to leave that right in. Great. What is your favorite, Maggie? Stethoscope. The stethoscope. Terrific. Well, here's what I think. I think we should demonstrate these for everybody at home. Do you agree? Yes. So I'm going to leave my bag here. By the way, did you see that reflex hammer? Did you see that one? Oh, my goodness. The reflexes come from your brain, you know. And that's just a kind of a cool reflex hammer. But anyway, the otoscope. Let's check that guy out. Actually, Jaden, would you help me? Come up here and stand with me. And I think I'll put the light on and check this ear. Come stand here. That's great. Come close, my dear. I'll check this ear. I really, really hope it's clear. And if it is, I think we should cheer. It is. It is clear. Let's cheer. Yay! Yay! Let's check the other one. You got two, right? One, two, three. Don't you fear. Come close, come near. Yes, indeed. This one is clear. Thank you, pal. You can sit down. And now, wait. We have the pen light if I take the top of the otoscope off, right? So the pen light, let's put this here. This checks the throat. Who would help me check a throat? Oh, Miss Maggie. Okay. You ready? Ready? Kids, here's the deal. Come over here. I think this side. a girl. And what do you do when your doctor says, open really wide for the pen light. What do you do? Um, you say what? Uh, uh, what? Uh, okay, watch this. Maggie, see how well you can do this. Uh, uh, tongue way out, open wide, say ah. Uh, uh, lovely tonsils, I must say. Let's see your teeth. Ah, you are brushing at least once a week. 
No, no. Do you brush every day? Maybe even twice a day, I hope I pray. Yes. Perfect. Well, thank you. You know what we're going to do? Actually, you hold this for me and ask them to say, ah. Say, ah. Ready? You can hold it. Let's look. Say, everybody say, ah. Well done. You know, they are professional patients. That's great. And Dylan, would you help me, since you like the ophthalmoscope, to kind of come up and I'll check your ears, I mean your eyes. Come. Because you like the eye thing, right? Can you say ophthalmoscope? That's a big one. We're going to say it together. Watch. So we put the light on and we look in here and we change these diopters and voila, we all can focus. So that's an easy stuff and that is the eye checker, right? We're going we're gonna to rehearse these names. Thank you. You can sit down. Dylan. Thank you. So blood pressure. Who's, I'm not so sure, maybe, Gianna, may I check your blood pressure? Sure. Oh, thank you so much. Well, come on. Where does this go? Yeah, on your arm. Let's turn this way. Put on this one, and remember, it squeezes, it's tight, and then we look at this gauge, but it does not hurt, right? It's a squeeze, and usually, we listen to your pulse over like the brachial it. artery, which is there, and we squeeze, and watch this go up. Uh, is it moving? Yes. Is it tight? And then it comes right back down. What a wonderful blood pressure. You know what? I want your blood pressure. I really do. So that's the sphygmomanometer. So we have the otoscope. Thank you, my dear. The otoscope, the otoscope, the ophthalmoscope, the pen light, the sphygmomanometer for our blood pressure, and of course, the, um, the stethoscope. But I'm looking around and I'm thinking that I'm missing something and I don't, I'm really not, I'm not sure, I, I'm missing my stethoscope. Where's my stethoscope? It's right my <laughs> Oh, good heavens. Oh, Dr. P. Thank you very much. I was missing, I just didn't know where it went. Whose heart should I check? Oh my goodness, everybody wants to, but I think we'll have to go this way. You ready? But maybe I'll check a few. Okay, Danny, you ready? Usually we listen to the skin, but we warm it up. And it's just tremendous fun. Of course, then it's not cold. Because if I put this on cold, like cold onto your skin, you might just go and hit me in the chin, right? Well, I don't think you guys would do that, but I don't want it to be cold. So we're going to warm it up. We listen. And to your breathing, the heart and the lungs. The lungs breathe for you, right? So watch. Breathe big, Danny. And another for your mother. You're a good brother. Good. Now rest. Remember, I like to run pretty much all the time. Right? Mm -hmm. Up top for your pop. It's what you get when you love the Mets. Cool. Thank you, pal. Now, let's see. One of my brothers. Actually, maybe both of my brothers. Come up. Robert and Nicholas, one here and one here. There you go. So listen, I'm going to just listen over your shirt this time, okay? Over your shirt. Listen, but if you all, actually, if I turn this twice, blow some magic pixie dust, maybe you can hear it as well. Can you be very quiet? Can you listen closely? Okay, here we go. Let's see. You don't have to breathe big. We'll listen to your heart this time, but thank you. Ready? Wow. Did, did you hear anything? Yeah. Did you hear his heart? <gasps> did you bring yours with you today for me to check or did you leave it at home in the closet? You brought it? You sure? Oh good, because otherwise it'd be very, thank you sir, I'd be very sad if you didn't bring it. Let's try. It might be tough with this guy. Gosh. Did you hear it? Yeah. Did you? Oh, I'm so glad. Well, that was just great. Yes, sir. You're ready. I know. I can read your mind. You are ready to say the names of the instruments. Repeat after me so everybody can hear you. Ready? The... Otoscope. One, two, three. Otoscope. Otoscope. Everybody at home will learn as well. And then, of course, the pen light. One, two, three. Pen, pen light. light. That's better. And then the, this is tough, 
ophthalmoscope. Good. One more time. The ophthalmoscope. Good. It's an eye checker. And then, oh my gosh, just, my goodness, the, just the, the longest name, the Svigmo manometer. Try that with me. Svigmo manometer. You could also say blood pressure cuff. Try blood pressure cuff. Blood pressure cuff. Do you think that's easier? Yeah. It is, but I know you are brilliant, very, very good students, and you can all say with me, Svigmo manometer. Let's do that again. Svigmo manometer. Perfect. Now, the last thing we have to say is, but I don't know, where is my, I wanted to say stethoscope, but I can't. It's on your head! No, it's, again? Yes. Thank you so much for the help. You are so helpful to me today, mm -hmm. and I bet helpful to your parents at home as well. So, what is this? A stethoscope. It's the stethoscope. Good girl, Lauren. So that is the ticket. Everybody knows that. Say it one more time. Oh, good. Well, I'll put it up here just so that I can forget that it's there again. What do you think of that? Okay, so listen. I think it's time, since we reviewed some of my magical medical instruments, to, let's see. Well, it's time to sing because I love music. But before we do, tell me this. Let's have just a little section or a segment called Ask Dr. Pete. So this is the Ask, Ask Dr. Pete. And you know on our, our CD, we actually, which... The CD is right on the shelf there, and I think you all have one. You have yeah. one of Dr. Pete's office yeah. CDs? Great. So here's the deal. There's a song on there that says, Ask Dr. Pete. Guess what it's time for now? Ask Dr. Pete. So do you have any questions either about magical medical instruments or about doctors or shots or anything like that? You shoot. Yes, ma'am. Um, when you own take care of kids, do you really help them like they, like when they're really sick? I do. And sometimes, not often, sometimes I have a really sick child. And yes, I do my very best to take care of them. That's my job and that's what I love to do. Thankfully, you guys aren't that sick that often, right? Who has another question? Jaden? The instruments. What about the instruments? The one in your bag that like you mean the reflex hammer? Oh, you want to see that again. What color was it? Do you remember? Green. Oh my goodness, are you sure? It was the other one, the dinosaur one. Do you think it just changed magically? No. And what happens when we do our reflexes? If the brain is working, right? It doesn't hurt, but it... Do you know it's called a DTR? It's a deep tendon reflex. Watch. Sometimes when we do it here, things happen as well. Do you think that's cool? Yeah. And you're not afraid of this guy, right? Are you sure that he was green before? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to put this in the bag. We'll put those away later, but let's see. What other questions? This is time to ask Dr. Pete. It's your time. Anything special? Or should we find more music? More music. More music? More music? No more questions? Okay. Well, listen, that was the Ask Dr. Pete part, portion of our show. Remember your magical medical instruments are there to help you and not hurt you. And you know all those names now, right? So if I ask you when I see you on the next, time, next show, you'll know? Oh, that's great. Now, let's just review from our last show how to stay happy and healthy until we meet again. Are you ready? Yes. There were several things that we had to do. One was to eat really, really healthy food three times a day. The next was to drink and tink. Do you remember that? Yeah. Do you remember the drink and tink? Yeah. We have yes. to drink and you have to tink, right? Fluids, you have to drink good, good things. The next one is that you have to get as much exercise every day as you can. Daily exercise. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. yeah. And gals? And the next, yes, Maggie? Um, today I have gym and I always have gym um, on on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, so that's I excellent. always have them in a row, and I really like gym because that's my special, because that's my favorite special in school because I really like to get some energy up. That is great, and you do have the energy up. I think that goes with the red hair, mm -hmm. and also you're in first grade. Am I right? Yes. Yes, Jane. There's a surprise in two days. What's the surprise in two days? Halloween. Oh, uh, Halloween Ooh, is in two day. days. Are you looking forward to that? Mm -hmm. Good. I want yes. you to. 
to not have all the candy at one time. Maybe one or two a day. Okay, but it would be too much sugar and I don't want you to get cavities in your teeth. But now, before we sing, healthy eating, drink and tink, exercise and as much what as we can get. Sleep. Oh, as many hours of sleep with a really good bedtime. Brush your teeth well, twice a day I hope I pray. And lastly, always but always remember to love, honor, respect and thank who at your home? Your parents. They give you everything they have. They love you dearly, more than anything in the world. So don't forget that. Deal? Deal. Now, so, do you think, do you, should we close with a song? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Let's see, see if it will work here. I don't know if it will. <gasps> it did. <gasps> well, thanks for coming by today. It's great to see that you're okay. Come back and visit any day. Dr. Pete's office, will you? I'm really very proud of you and all that we have learned to do. We've done it all together too. Where? At Dr. Dr. Pete's office. office. When we get together again, I'll see you in good health. You know the most important thing to do till then is take care. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. I hope you've had a little fun, but now I know you've got to run. Remember that we're far from done. Where? Dr. Pete's office. It's terrific. When you are living healthfully, there's so much more that you will be. And that's just what I want to see right here at Dr. Pete's, Pete's office. office. When we get together again, I'll see you in good health. You know the most important thing to do till then is take care. Take care of yourself. The most important thing for you is take care. Oh, take good care of yourself. At Dr. Pete's office. At Dr. Pete's office. I'm going to see you soon. And in fact, see you next time. Thank you, kids. Did you have fun? Yes. Can you give me five? We're going to roll some credits and give me five. Stay where you are. I'm ready. Thank you, guys. This was special. Did you like the instruments? Yes. You know the instruments, right? This is not new to you. You're a professional patience, right? You're going to come back next time and play? Yes. Do you like being part of Dr. Beat's office? Yes. Yes. Do you think we should show this like to everybody like in the world? Yes. At least in America. Am I right? Well, yes. let's do a fist pump for that with explosions. Double.